striper for dinner. I'm Zachary Fowler, and you're watching Fowler's Makery and Mischief. Last time on I Bought a Boat, Episode 5. Built a GoPro mount for a lobster, found a perfect lobster for it, strapped her on, and sent him down there to do his thing. It was so cool. I, I can't even begin to tell you how neat it is. You have to go check out that video, link below in the description. What an explorer this guy was. Unbelievable the things he got up to, even finding one of my lobster traps and spotting stripers for us. So now that we know that there's stripers in that cove, we're gonna head out there today, catch and cook a striper. Mark and fish, mark and fish, all, mark and fish already. We're doing good. <laughs> all right, we're here in my favorite place, Rockport Harbor. We're gonna head out, catch us a striper, head home, and cook her up. Maybe we'll grab some lobsters while we're out here doing this. Oh, I love the sea. Nothing like a beautiful day out in the ocean. Let's do it. Girls, we just caught, and uh, I'm gonna take one of these guys and just use a piece of him a little cube. We saw them in here on the GoPro the other day when we had the lobster in here doing his thing, swimming around. So, hopefully, we can. Uh, he's been spotting fish for us, and now we can catch one. Let's see what we can do. You paying attention to your line, Zach? I don't see your bobber. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, I don't see it either. Is there a fish on? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, I got one. Ew. Sorry about all the wind messing up the audio. This part of the video is pretty short, so we'll get past this quick. But uh, if you notice here, I'm not getting too excited about the catch. So I thought I'd throw a little monster mic in here to make up for my lack of enthusiasm. Nobody can get excited about a fish catch like him. Even though I was so excited about the setting the hook, I almost took out my cameraman. The fish, whenever it turns, it's like ripping line off the reel, and I'm not talking about the drag. Something is wrong with this reel. I've retired it in favor of a new one, which I am really excited about. I love telescoping poles. I finally found my dream one. Check out the next video for that. What we got? Have to get a look at him. Man, he feels like a stone when he does start to the fight. Hand me that net. Are you be ready with the net? Yeah, I got it. Mm. Ow! Oh yeah! That's a nice one! Holy cow! Oh my goodness! Woo! Look at that! He's a beaut. <laughs> this is the first striper I've caught in I don't even know how many years, 15 years. Not that I've been fishing for him all that often. But yeehaw. Well, let's measure him up and unhook him. And see if he's big enough to take back and catch and cook. 
Unfortunately, when we went to measure it, we didn't have a single tape measure on any of our tackle boxes or anything on the boat. We didn't have a dollar bill, which you can actually measure stuff with. All I had is my lobster tool, which is exactly five inches on one side. That's it. As a keeper, we got ourselves a beautiful striper for dinner. Woo! Nice! out here <laughs> thought we grabbed some lobsters to go with the fish from my traps of course <laughs> Woo. there we go color on this one look at this look at how looks like it's already been cooked boy we should have strapped the GoPro on this guy look at the size of that one Woo. let's go do some cooking Lunch is ready. <laughs> Where else do you go to work every day and you can have a lunch like this? 
we don't really do this every day. Chris has got taco stuff. We got our fish. It's more like a blackened, blackened tuna than it is a. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean it to be a blackened striper. I was going for uh, just right, but I, I don't know. That's no, not bad. It, it tasted good when I first pulled it out. That was good. Oh, it's good. It's good, especially with all that butter. Man, nailed it in the lobster. Oh wait, forgot to say grace. Lord, thank you for this food, this great adventure that you have given us. And bless us to our bodies in Jesus' name, amen. I gotta turn mine backwards because we're clashing here, wearing the same hat. I thought you were just a cool guy. No, no. Mmm. <laughs> I, I think this is the first striper I've ever eaten. Really? Because all the other ones I caught were undersized in the past. And that was like 10, 15 years ago. Mmm. How's the fish taco? Yeah? Mmm. Right, I'm gonna have to do one. I got my keto wraps inside though. Ovens. And this is the 30 day survival challenge, Canadian Rocky. Yeah, I'm glad I got that on film. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you got to catch and cook it. Got it. Woo. down all right hook me up with some fixins Woo, it's hot what we got sour cream have you guys ever had fish tacos leave it in the comments below do you like fish tacos i heard of it originally and i was like that is the weirdest strangest most disgusting thing i've ever heard of <laughs> and then i had one the only thing we don't have that really oh. goes well mango salsa i was gonna say also the uh any hot sauce is good too oh we have hot sauce inside that's the beauty of not doing off yeah right okay. this is the beauty of not doing things just out in the woods this is my backyard grilling area that i just finished building it, it turned out awesome i got a brick oven i'm going to be working on for out here i bought a kiln off of uh craigslist and it's uh for doing pottery but i'm using the fire bricks inside to build a brick oven so i can do pizza out here and uh right now we're just been doing it on the grill and and that thing and we forged some of this stuff behind me. I'll do another video on that later in the year. It's just. You wanna go fish and then cheese uh, or cheese right away? Cheese, cheese on the. So, if you've never tried a fish taco and you're like, that's disgusting, why would you do that? That's horrible. <laughs> then you just, you don't know what you're talking about. It is actually so. Don't knock it till you try. Don't knock it till you try, is right. It is really good. I'm gonna pick the thinner piece. Or I'll let your, let your lobster hold on to your lettuce for you. <laughs> I do That's... like this stuff. This is good hot sauce. Leave in the comments below, what's your favorite hot sauce? I like Tabasco, but I get bored with it really quickly. Mm. And you know what my favorite thing to do with hot sauce is? Even though I don't eat carbs anymore, I miss it all the time, more than anything else. Bagel, cream cheese, and hot sauce because hmm. you got you got your and these uh they have these cinnamon uh they have these cinnamon and sugar bagels that they used to have at the bagel cafe downtown mm -hmm. and so they're sweet cinnamon and sugar creamy bagel. uh with the cream cheese and then the hot sauce hmm. oh sounds good boom I've that is the best yeah well it's like like 
it's got that same combination that like a uh, chocolate with red pepper in it has. I just like to dump it mm. right in my mouth. Yep. What? Ew, gross. You're weird. This isn't a Cholula, Cholula ad either. I just love it, man. That is a good hot sauce that you could do. I could see yeah, it's that. It's just like vinegar. It's less spicy. And it's not vinegar. like ones that are just like, they go for so hot. They're yeah. just, it, I mean, it's good, but. What is it specifically? Chili garlic, that's why. Mm. Well, this one's not such a hot sauce. It's more of a, a flavor. Yes. They, oh, oh, that is so good. I haven't had sour cream in forever. Ugh. These are um, Joseph's low carb wraps, and that's what I use for most of my, um, since I'm trying to do keto. I say trying because I keep failing here and there, but I'm doing better a lot lately. So when I do a pizza, you can use the Joseph's wraps and you can make a pizza on it and they're like having a really, 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 really thin crust, but you still get that pizza feel. Unlike when you do a like crust made out of like almond flour or some weird thing that makes it taste nothing like a pizza. Cauliflower, cauliflower crust. Cauliflower. I have not managed to do one that tasted good. I cooked a whole lot of extra butter around our fish to make up for the fact that I overcooked it, but also so that we could dip our lobster in it on the plate. Well, that dessert. channel sous vide everything. He always does that. Puts butter on the top of a steak and then takes a torch. Oh. And he like torches it and it like melts the butter in. Oh. Interesting. Mm hmm. Striper is really good. Yeah. All yeah. bass is good. Yeah. Just gets a bad rep. Mmm. Cheers. No. No. <laughs> Cheers and then set yeah. it down. And check out the link in the description below for my signature blend coffee if you want a cup of that from Blackout Coffee. We've been working together for a while now. Mm. Well, that was fun. That was a fun adventure. I, that was so funny, like catching it. Like I had, it didn't put up a fight. Like it was just like, where's your bobber? Clunk. Bigger fish can sometimes, they're just sluggish. Yeah. Lazy old boy. I felt like every time he turned against me, I was like, holy cow, cause it's just like nothing. Mm. And then when I went and uh, when I was reeling, and I tried to reel too fast, that stupid uh, reel on this telescoping pole, not the good one that I have coming. I'll show you guys that in another video when that shows up. But the one that I've been using for all my videos for a while now, I yarned on it and started to reel and it's just like, boof, it just barfed. It, I don't know what happened. The gears stripped, it, it reeled her in. I don't know. It was just like, you heard it. It was like the drag broke for a second. It I was like, think. it was like, that dumb and dumber guys, you know, it's just like, what's the most annoying noise in the world? Especially when you're trying to reel, reel a fish in, you're reel going. <laughs> and nothing happening. I had me worried. Me too, but it, then all of a sudden it worked just fine. And she reeled it. I'm gonna have to get the pressure washer out here. <laughs> That's a good thing Clean this, this thing off, right? Might be doing some, uh, I can come out here later tonight and do some raccoon hunting. <laughs> but Dobo, so the only thing I did to the fish was Wadobo. I mean, doesn't need anything. Else. I don't know. I'll keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Like I said, nice smoky flavor too. Mm hmm. When you cook them on a grill, the lobsters, it, the best way to do that is you got to cut them in half down the middle. Mm -hmm. And so that way you can sear it a little bit this way and then flip it over and put butter on the tail. And I think it's the burntness of the shell so that burny smoke flavor gets mm. to them, depending on if you're cooking them on a grill or if you're cooking them in a smoker. Right. Some some of that could penetrate more. How would you describe the flavor of lobster to somebody who's never had it? Oh, that's what? a good one. What is lo lobster doesn't taste like anything else so you could describe it. You can't be like Not really. It's like a steak <laughs> and a fish had a baby <laughs> and a chicken. And then that baby there. that baby got with a shrimp and a <laughs> crab and they had a baby. You get a lobster. I no, but I'm really am gonna have to get the pressure washer over here. <laughs> yeah, I got like a layer of like lobster soup here on my the things that we do for you to bring you this wonderful video videos in 4K and cinematic. Well, I think that about does it for us. I want to get out there and do some more fishing. Oh, I need a nap first. And after a nap, I'll see you guys next time. That's Chris. I'm Zach. Fowler out. <laughs> yeah. Here. Lobster. Oh, I'm going to have to clean that lens.